Hello everyone, RPG Kingdom Kid here, back with some more, 999. In the previous video, we went through the, what was it, door 8? No, we went through door 7. We went through door 7 uh, with 7 and Clover. And we did some science, some biology, always fun stuff. And now, uh, Ace, Clover, and 7 went through the number 3 door. To see if they could find Snake through it. So, well, now we are going to head to, as June said, see if we can f go anywhere with the Jupiter key. Yes. If we're lucky, we might find Snake. Snake eater. And here's the Jupiter symbol on the keyhole. All right, Junpei. Open it, if you please. Fine, I guess. Yeah, on it. I'm, I feel like I'm getting closer to realizing who's who Clover's voice actress is, because I keep trying to think like, who the Back hell? The beginning. You sure this is a good idea? Like, who the hell is voicing what Clover? Like, I've been thinking like over and well, over, like we who? We already searched every inch of this room, didn't we? Like, who voices her? Like, I'm, I'm asking you. If there's hearing the lines that she said here. in the past, and I'm like, oh, I can't figure it out. Oh, and the uh, there's a reason. Of course there's a reason. Man, sometimes I can't tell if you're smart or just lucky. That might have been a little huh? far, Junpei. This. The Saturn key card. And the Earth key? Yeah, there are I'm symbols lost. here. Don't you remember, Santa? Santa Claus! Sea deck where we are now... There was a big elevator behind the stairs, remember? And next to the elevator, oh, there was a card reader with the Saturn symbol on it. And on A deck, on the door to the I left... I've turned down the volume just a little bit more on my end here. Uh, there was a keyhole with the Earth symbol on it, I think. Yes, there was. I can't, I can't believe you forgot about them. So, the two keys that Jumpy has... Should let us use the elevator and the door on A deck. Huh. Uh, yeah. Yes, that's right. <laughs> All right, I got it. Let's get started then. What do you say we split into two teams? All right. Lotus and I will search the Earth one, so you two can search Saturn. All right? Sounds good. Sounds good. Then huh. you guys should take this key. Yeah. We have no idea what's on the other side of these. So don't go too far. Just search for ten minutes and come back. Ten minutes. Check your watch. There's oh wait, our watch only displays a number elevator. on her. <laughs> then let's try out the Saturn key card. Great! It looks like it's working now. Dunk. All right, now how do I call the elevator? Nice uh, flash of black they did to... Oh, so. it only has the upside down triangle on it. So it goes down. Uh, I guess there's no up button. Well, we may as well try pushing this one. Ooh. It, it opened, look, Jumpy. All right. Sweet, it opened. Let's get going. Well, we can't go to E deck because I'm pretty sure that's flooded. W wait. Yes. What? Uh, I'm not really. Uh, I just. Uh, oh gosh. Everything okay? Well, um, we will be all alone in here. Yeah. <laughs> Jumpy? Huh? Oh, uh, nothing. It's not important. <laughs> Come on, let's go. I said wait a minute. Why? Aren't you afraid, Jumpy? Afraid of what? Well, I've never... Never you what? You know. It's your first time? <laughs> I might... get wet. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yep, uh, yep. Down there. 
I get soaking wet. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, I, I mean, of course you would. That's the way it works. <laughs> I mean, I've never heard of anyone getting soaking wet uh, somewhere else. <laughs> oh my God. That's that's true. <laughs> Oh, uh, did they did they change wet? this? Because I feel like it wasn't what? as bad in the wet in the uh well uh, I don't know in the I DS think version. Probably, um, you know, like it. Gosh, jumpy! Oh my gosh! You're so brave! All right, everyone. Really? All right, everyone. I, mean, I, I want you to take a guess on thing, what you think you know? she means. We all know what Junpei uh what Junpei means about getting wet down there. What do you think June means? Because you know for a hell she does not mean what Junpei's means. Uh, <laughs> I'll, 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 uh, I'll let you leave a comment right now. No, make sure you timestamp it too. At like, you know, timestamp your comment. Um, timestamp your comment being like at whatever minutes this video start is like five minutes, six minutes, whenever. Whenever I start talking about this, be like timestamp. Be like she's talking about getting wet like this way, and obviously Junpei's talking about getting wet that way. Like. <laughs> okay, let's continue. What happens uh, next, right? I mean, if you get the chance, you've just got to go for it. I, that's what a man is supposed to do. I guess. I guess. You're so cool, Jumpy. I really oh, admire you. I bet the voice actors had a uh, fun time with this. really seem like the sort of thing you ought to admire someone for. Ah. Uh. I... I'm really scared. Oh, it's okay yeah, there, June. I mean, like you said, you've never done it before. Yes. Yes. So, I don't think I'll be able to last very long. And then it'll be... <laughs> over. Uh, over? Uh, yes. Uh, I'll go to heaven. Yes. Heaven? It feels kind of like you're floating in space. And your mind gets all fuzzy, like when you pass out. Uh-huh. At least that's what I've heard from people who have experienced it. Ah, uh, yes, I've, I've heard that too. <laughs> Although I, I don't think the same thing happens to guys. What? what? No, no. Mm -hmm. But it would happen to men too, wouldn't it? It would happen to anyone. Yeah. Once it gets into your body, the same thing happens to everyone. Uh-huh. Oh, well, I, I mean, um, usually it, it, it doesn't go inside the man. Uh, I mean, generally. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Well, eventually it will. It's not like you really have a choice. Your body will force you to swallow some of it. Eventually. Uh-huh, you should already know what June's talking about. What are you trying to do to me? Nothing. I'm not going to do anything to you. Anything at all. <laughs> I'm just saying that that's what happens. It's a psychological reaction to what you're experiencing. <sighs> Jube has a goddamn oh, dirty is mind. Is that so? <laughs> I know most men probably have larger lungs, but... Even then, I don't think you could hold your breath for 20 or, or even 10 minutes. Eventually, you'd have to breathe, and then the water would get into your She's lungs. talking about drowning, people! Once that happens, your body won't be able to get oxygen anymore. And you'll start to feel that floaty feeling as you pass out. She's talking about drowning, folks. Uh, Junpei was uh, fucking goddamn dirty. Oh. Oh, hmm? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't remember it being this dirty in the DS version. It probably was, though. I haven't played the DS version since, like, the year it came out in, like, what, 2008, yeah, 2007? Right. You wouldn't last very long. <laughs> See? <sighs> Come to think of it, the lower floor, D-Deck is completely underwater. Yes. An elevator heading to a submerged floor. That is pretty scary. Yeah, that would be. Hey, wait a minute. This elevator came up from somewhere under us, right? Um, well, yes, I guess it did. 
It didn't open right away after you pressed the button. There was a motor noise, like it was moving, and then it opened. Uh-huh. Yeah, exactly. Yes. So, take yes. a look inside. <laughs> it's not wet at all, is it? The walls and even the floor are totally dry. But, I mean, elevators oh, don't stay right. open on the floors yeah. that they were on. Well, so... let's test it. Test it? Yeah, watch this. Now... I'll just put one foot inside the elevator and look over at the buttons. Oh, there's only two. E and C. All right, I'll push E. That's weird that you can only go to the E and C. I, I think I can hear it opening on E deck. Okay. That's done. Now I'll just press the button again. Yep, not a single drop of water yeah. to be seen. Yep. I hate that See? any kind of movement or, or button mean? thing that you do on the controller stops How the can auto. The deck be weird. safe if the D deck is full of water. Well, here's what I think. The elevator shaft and E-deck must be watertight and separated from wherever the ship's been punctured. Here, uh, let me show you. I see. So is that why the ship hasn't sunk? The shape of the inside keeps it all from filling with water? Yeah, I think that's what's going on. Hmm. So I'm gonna go down and check it out. You stay here, all right? Um, but... Come on, just do it, all right? I I'm coming with you! Huh? Hey, wait! Crap, it closed. I can't just let you go alone, you know. Ah, jeez. Ah, jeez. <laughs> it's dark in this elevator. June, are you getting wet down there? It looks no. normal. <laughs> I'll knock it off. It's just like I thought. This part hasn't flooded. Come on, just look around. There's no water here. And I'm able to talk. <sighs> You're right. It's not flooded at all. I love that she just popped up. See? Like, was she on the floor? There's a whole lot of water. Yeah, right on top of us. What's going to happen if the ceiling breaks? Bah. Well, we'd probably get really wet up there. Huh? At any rate, we should probably go back as soon as we can, once we're done looking around down here. After getting wet down there, we'll get wet up there. Lotus and Santa might already be back. Uh, yeah, because we spent a good ten minutes okay, just sitting there. Okay, good idea. Now then. Iron bars. Well, we can't go over there. Unless we were able to get to the other right. elevator. Then maybe. Well... It looks oh, like there's, there's a long, door. straight hallway down this way. Something's written on the door at the end. Wait, is that... Let's check. It's a number door. I knew it! This is a numbered door! But we can't do anything with only the two of us. We better head back and let everyone know. Yes. Wait, what's this? Is this the map for E-Deck? I should take it with me. Huh, so you guys found door one. So now we've located two new doors. The six door and the one door. Six and one. 
You know, it is interesting that E deck wasn't flooded. Well, we don't really know if all of E deck is safe. Right. We only checked the area around the elevator. Even so, it's still very interesting. You said the sixth door was there, right? Uh -huh. Yes. Then that means Zero planned all this out, even the sinking. That would have meant some pretty serious remodeling of the ship's interior. It's pretty mind blowing when you think about it. Yeah, pretty mind blowing. Yeah, I wonder how long it took. I can't even imagine how much it must have cost. It would have been a ton, that's for sure. Well, that does go along with what Ace was saying. The most reasonable explanation would be that this was done by some organization with access to a whole lot of cash. It's all about the money. Yes, it does make sense. Okay, that's weird. <clears throat> I'm actually gonna turn down my volume a little <clears throat> bit. Because it somehow was all the way up. I don't remember that happening. Um. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's a very good idea to stay here. Yeah, you're right. Ace and his team might be back already. Right. <clears throat> well, June, Junpei, and I should be able to open door one. Mm-hmm. Huh? You guys leaving me behind? Just kidding. All right, let's go. So, okay, they can open up door one, because... Hey! Where the hell did you guys go? Oh, hi. Seven? Hmm. Um. Uh. What's wrong? What happened? What the hell kind of question is that? Snake was... Oh. Snake is... Um. Snake is... Dead. Gee. He died. Just as the ninth man did. Oh. Oh my god. That's not true, is it? <sighs> we should make sure. Yeah, right. We should. Wait, not that way. What? Why not? I stuck a screwdriver in there to keep the door from closing all the way. It's not locked, so you can go in that way. Okay. Where is, uh, where is he? The shower room, on the left side of the hallway. I put a broom in there too, though. Ooh. That means we can get in without going through the numbered door, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Then let's go. Ooh. This wasn't open when we passed here before. Well, let's keep going. Oh, it smells horrible. Oh. Ugh, yeah. This is pretty awful. I feel like I'm gonna puke. Oh. Mm. Where is he? Where's Snake? There. Oh. June, you should stay here. Ugh. What? Ugh. Please, just do me a favor, okay? Alright? I'm going in. This is not gonna be pretty. Just like Ace said. Just like the ninth man. The detonator in his bracelet set off the bomb in his gut. Oh god. The the bone is coming out of his left arm. Oh, oh, oh. It's definitely an open fracture. Oh, the face. It's horrible. Yeah, you can't even tell who it is. But the clothes are mistake about it. It's Snake. Oh. Ugh. <laughs> oh, Clover.
over. Snake was probably murdered. Chances are he was killed the same way the Ninth Man was. It's pretty straightforward. Not that hard to figure out how they did it. First, the killers got Snake to authenticate on the red to open door three. Then they shoved him into it. Alone. Well, who's the only one that can make door number three with Snake? Shut. Once that door shut, it was all over for Snake. But he didn't give up. He probably knew it wouldn't do him any good, but he probably oh, ran here. to the shower room looking for the dead. Seven. Um. It was a small chance. Seven and three. But it wasn't like he had anything to would lose. Would make uh, twelve, so that could be three. So it could be seven, two, three. Work. The detonator is only deactivated if everybody who authenticated when they went in uses the dead. Snake yeah, that's the, only, the way. only one who went through the door. And then, 81 seconds after he was shoved in, Ugh. that happened. I see. So that's what you meant by killers, huh? Well, you need at least three people to open one of the numbered doors, including Snake. It wouldn't open for Snake and a single killer. Yeah, that means we're looking at multiple perps here. Well, just in case, I want to make sure. Let's say you're right. When do you think Snake was killed? When we all split up to look for the parts for the Reds, I think. Right after that was when we noticed he was gone. And that means none of us have alibis. We were all off searching the rooms we'd been assigned, looking oh, for the Oh, then parts. again, there could be a four people, so. Yeah. That's that true, too. I kind of could forgot that they need a. Like, it can be at the most five. Well, wait a minute. What are you talking about? How can you say that so casually? You're implying that one of us is a killer. Well, more than one, actually. Well, not just one of us. If I'm right, then at least two of us are murderers. Why don't you calm down a bit, Seven? What are you going to gain by being so suspicious? That's what Zero wants, you know? Mm. What Zero wants? Exactly. This game was set up by Zero, wasn't it? Any game has a winner and loser. Whoever makes it through door nine is a winner, and those who don't are the losers. I'll well, say it so casually, Ace. Zero is trying to make us fight against one another for that victory. Then you're saying that Zero is trying to split us up by making us fight each other? Yes. That is why we can't let ourselves fall prey to suspicion. We have to trust one another and form a strong bond of friendship. Friendship. Otherwise, we'll end up ensnared by Zero's manipulations. Then does that mean that the person who killed Snake... Yes. Almost certainly Zero himself. Hmm. If that there's could anyone be the case we should too. Doubt, it should be Zero. He masterminded this game and kidnapped all of us. Doesn't it seem reasonable that he would have killed Snake as well? Hmm, good question. If Zero killed Snake, then Zero is on the ship with us. Huh, was Zero still on the ship? Let's think here. I mean, how else? Of course, or I wasn't sure. Well, I think give up. Oh, I don't know why something's I did. still strange. I think I. I think I actually hmm? hit the thing. What was I? that? 
He wasn't sure. Okay. Well, okay. Well, I'm just wondering about one thing. And what's that? How can you be so sure that Zero's on this ship? Really, Junpei? I confess I'm a little disappointed. Usually, you're rather sharp. I did not mean to press anything, but Isn't oh well. Isn't it obvious? Wait, it is? This ship. Huh? Zero said, this ship, several times when he addressed us. The corpus of the ship. If he weren't here, he wouldn't say this ship, would he? He'd be saying something like that ship or the ship. Right. Yeah, I, I guess that makes sense. If Zero's on the ship, where is he? I think. Hmm? I think Zero is. Oh, Dune. Oh, could Zero be one of us? I hit something. I don't know. That's crazy. Oh shit! <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Ah! Uh, I did not mean to do that. I wanted to. Uh, fucking hell! Oh my god! This is what I wanted to look at. I wanted to look at the flow. Uh, I'm an idiot. If Zero was here with us, he'd be putting himself in danger. Why the hell would he do something like that? There's no motive. You don't believe me. No, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, Clover, I... Clover. I understand what you're feeling. You don't feel that you can trust any of us. But you have to understand. The more we distrust one another, the further we fall into our true foe's trap. It's like Dongon Rumpa. Zero was in that sense. Did those horrible things to your brother. Do you want to let yourself be manipulated by someone who would do such a horrible thing? Three in the yeah. morning clock. That means we have three hours left. Goody. Then we need to move now. Seven. Clover. I know how you feel, but you do understand that right now it's important we trust one another, don't you? Yeah, guys, everyone listen to Ace. We must Ace go. is the place we where the helpful hardware goes. Our next destination is Mercury. Maybe you and June should Mercury. check it out first and then report back to us. Why? All right, let's go, June. Right. Here it is. The Mercury card reader. But you didn't have a card. You had a. Oh, well, you did have a card. Using the card seven gave us right. I thought he gave us. Yeah. A key, unless the Mercury. I found it when we were checking out the shower room. Okay, never mind. There we go. 
I think Seven said something like that. Anyway, let's see what happens. It's like, I don't remember getting that. I guess the elevator works now. Jumpy, I know it's only the two of us, but let's do our best. What's with you all of a sudden? Well, I'm happy we were put together. Aww, uh, he's so adorable. You know it's adorable. just for searching E-Deck, right? Even so, I'm glad I'm with you. Aww, oh, he's adorable. First, we need to find out if the elevator comes up full of water. Just like we did before. Oh, here it is. I knew it. It's not wet at all. Let's go. Yes. Go, 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 go in. Look! Nearly all of the buttons are destroyed. Oh, goody! Yeah, only the seat and bottom button can be pushed. We're on C deck right now, so the only one we can choose is bottom. Yeah. Well, let's try it out. So this is the bottom deck. Hey, over there. This is a numbered door. This is the eighth one we found. There were two numbered doors on B deck near the central staircase. They were doors four and five. Three more in the large hospital room. Doors three, seven, and eight. And the door we found on E deck, and the door Lotus and Santa found on A deck. It was a six on the door on E deck, and a one on the door on A deck. That means. Do you think the next door we find? Yeah, I think so. The next one's gonna be door nine. Yeah! Finally! Yeah. You don't look very happy about it, though. It's not that. I just hope nothing goes wrong. You're right. We should keep our fingers crossed. Let's head back. Okay. One, two, three, four. All right, seven pieces. Just double checking, but everyone wrote their code name and a door number they want, right? Yes, just like you told us earlier. Can't believe we're voting here. We need to make the whole thing fair, blah de blah. This is a complicated plan, you know. It is. Hurry it up, Mr. I have a brilliant idea. Yeah, yeah, quiet in the peanut gallery. All right, let's open these up. The first one says, Ace requests door one. Yes, I do. Would you like me to explain why? No, not really. No, we don't have time for that. Sorry, let's keep going. Next is Santa. He wants door six. What door do yeah, I want? That's what I wrote. Clover wants one, Lotus wants two, and Seven also wants two. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, there is no way I'm going anywhere with the Elephant Man. Oh, shut up, you. No, there'd be no point to the voting if we let people change their choices because of stuff like that. No one wants to go through Just six, give huh? it up, Lotus. It's not like I want to hang out with some exhibitionist grandma. No. Oh. I am not an exhibitionist. I'm wearing clothes. Barely. Barely. <laughs> Last I checked, that's not a crime. Maybe. But what about common decency? Nobody wants to have to look at a chick who looks like a half-naked raisin. Ooh. I'm gonna kill you! 
Ah, uh, calm down. Calm down, you. Oh, not good. Oh, stop having sex. Just stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Let oh God. Go, let go of me! I'm killing him. No, stop Junpei, it. Read the rest. Uh, right. June wants door six. Yes. I don't really have a reason. I just felt like it. Cool. So this was everyone's vote. Ace and Clover requested door one. Seven and Lotus requested door two. Santa and June requested door six. Uh-huh. Then the door I should choose is... Okay. The last one is mine. I want to go through. Well, let's see here. Ace and Clover make five. Me plus five is one, so that could work. Seven, eight. 15 plus 5 is 17. That wouldn't work for 2. Oh, did I do that wrong? 5. Ah! I kind of want to go through door 6. I want to go through door 6. That's a problem. Yep. None of these teams will be able to go through the doors they want. Clover and I chose door one. Lotus and I chose door two. Mm-hmm. That's not enough people to open a numbered door, however. The digital routes don't match up either. Nope. We've got similar problems. June, Junpei, and I want to go through door six. But our digital route is five. If we're gonna open that door, we need a one. Damn, what are we gonna do now? And then... Okay, so what are we going to do? All right, so if we do take one, then seven, eight, Clover's four, so... Seven, eight's 15, four. Yeah, they make 10. Which would be one. So they could go through door one. That could work. Right? The seven eight's fifteen. Plus four is nineteen. Add those together you get ten, but then you gotta add those two together, you get one. So they could go through door one. While the rest of us go through door six. It could be what the thing. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Why don't seven and lotus go through door one with me? Yeah. <sighs> what about me? Isn't that obvious? Wasn't one of the teams just complaining that they didn't have a one? Oh, Clover. You mean I should join Santa's team? Yes. Huh. I understand. I'll go through door six then. Sweet, we get to hang out with Ace. If we do as Clover has suggested, we can all pass through a numbered door, and no one will be left behind. This seems to be the most reasonable solution. Yep. Seven, Lotus, what do you guys think? I don't have a problem with it. Me either. All right, then. We're good to go. Cool beans. See you later. Oh, I hate that Clover's so depressed. Don't move on your own. Oh, I'll be going too then. Later. Yeah. Be careful. Deuces. We should get going as well. <laughs> this is E deck. Right. There should be a door at the end of the hall. All right, let's go. No, no, I was about to say, I think this is our first sport man team, but it's like, no, that was the beginning. You guys ready? Yeah. And let's get to it. 
Hey, I found it. It's right there. Sweet. Thank God you don't have to put it in the same order that you did uh, the, on the way in, too. <laughs> that would suck. It stopped. Yay. Yes, it stopped. Whew. I don't believe I'll ever get used to that. I'm not sure it's something I'd want to get used to. Nope. We should finish this game before imminent death becomes a normal thing. That sounds lovely. You got that right. Once I'm out of this hellhole, I'm taking a nice long vacation. Oh, Sissy, where are you going? <laughs> I agree. All right, let's go. All right, what's this the puzzle like? This door looks like? heavy. But it's not locked. I'm opening it. Ooh. Whoa, what the hell is this? Oh. This has to be the biggest room so far. The ceiling is pretty high, too. Huh. Could be two stories. Maybe even more. This space could be utilizing the entire length of the ship. What's that huge Kamaboko looking building in the middle? Kamaboko, what? Kamaboko? <laughs> well, I guess that's as good of a description of it as any. I see stairs, so we may as well head over to them. Yeah, but this section's barely wide enough to fit one person. You're right. Whoa, you can't even tell the shape when you're this close. Let's check out the other side, too. This looks to be the steam engine room. The steam engine room? Yes, that thing that looks like a cross section of a mushroom is the boiler. Oh, oh. Do you see the three round doors near the bottom? Okay. Coal is put into those and burned, which heats the water, producing steam. Oh, the same see. thing that drives a steam engine. This one is simply somewhat larger. Mm -hmm. I see. It doesn't appear to be. I mean, be if we are on the right gigantic, now. it would make sense for it to be a steam engine. All right, let's Ship, split up. Right. Hey, oh. what's wrong? Are you all right? Hey, June. Jumpy. Um, you, oh, hello? You're really warm. Is your fever coming back? Yes. Yes. It probably is. But I'm fine. Please, don't worry about me. Oh, no. I just need to rest. And I'll be fine. Okay, okay. Uh, here, sit down. Uh, careful. Thank you. Ace, Santa. Yes. Right. All right, let's get started. Yes. Let's stop. Hang in there, Pull. June. I'm going to get you out of here real soon. Doesn't look that big, but I have a feeling we'll be able to get out of this little steam engine room. All right, guys. Think I'm going. Oh, we went straight down here. That's actually interesting. There's only two endings we can get here. Huh. At least I think these are endings. I'm not sure. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. All right, guys. That's what I'm gonna do. So. 
So in the next part of Let's Play 999, we will escape through the steam engine room, and looks like we'll have to do it. So this will, this is escape, this is probably story, this is escape, this is story, and probably story, and then story, 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 story. Like that. That's probably what it's going to be. So yeah. So thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, please give that like button a click. Comment down below what you like about the video, what you didn't like about the video. And let me know, what did you think? Um... What did you think uh, Junpei was talking about? I right, you already right know what Junpei was talking about, but how do you like that interaction? Like, there's there's some interactions like that between Jun and Junpei where it just gets dirty because Junpei's thinking it's dirty, but Jun's mean like, wait, no, what? I I didn't, I meant it like this. So it was hilarious. I, I still don't remember it being that dirty in the DS version, but it might have been. So I don't know. Yeah. As always, well guys, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. As well guys, I'm very shout too. Well, it's in the description below. As well as follow me on Twitter. Both my main Twitter, the RBG King Kid Twitter, are in there too. I want to thank you all so much for watching once again. And I'll see you all next time.